Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. We have an interesting question here from a fourth grader. I ask, how do you subtract a smaller number from a bigger number? Well, of course, when we started with math, we have 10 minus 7. So if you have $10, you spend $7 and you have literally $3 left. So 10 minus 7 equal to 3. Okay, now, interestingly enough, as you progress more and more in mathematics, there will be a case where you take 7 minus 10. So the question, what do I do here? Okay, so basically, you have $7. Okay, the best way I found explaining subtraction is through money. And um, we all have a natural sense of how to spend money. So let's take a look. You have $7, so the first number still means what you have. Okay, subtraction still means spend, and you spend $10. So what now? We all know that in real life, now we owe $3. Okay, mathematically, how we write this one is 7 minus 10 equal to minus 3. This minus sign we put in font, we mean it by we owe something. Okay, so let's take another example. What if you had $17, but this time you spent $25? Okay, so how, how, how do we do that? Obviously, we know we're going to owe money, so we're going to put a minus sign in front. And then what we do from here is we actually subtract 25 to 17. Okay, we're going to borrow 15. This is 8. So we owe $8. The only difference is we still do the subtraction that we used to do. Okay, put the bigger number on top and the smaller number on the bottom. The only difference is now we put a minus in the front to see signify that we owe money. Okay, so one more example. Uh, we have $25, but this time we spend $49. Okay, so again, we're going to owe something. We're going to put a minus sign there. And then you do a minus 25 from $49, so you have $24. So we, we owe $24. Okay, so this is how we subtract a smaller number from a bigger number, by writing a negative sign in front of it. Okay, hope this helped. Have a confident day.